Hi guys, my name is Mohammed Zaman and in this video we will talk about WordPress number one trusted hosting provider. All right, which is Bluehost. And I'm not the only one who is saying this. If you'd go to the official website of WordPress and if you'd go to hosting, you'd find that Bluehost ranks number one. Bluehost is the number one trusted WordPress hosting provider even in their list. It powers more than 2 million websites. So let us find out what are the features and services Bluehost has to offer, which makes it the number one. All right, you can use my link. So we'll open a new tab and we'll go to mohammedzaman.com slash BH. BH stands for Bluehost. All right, press enter. And this is the official website of Bluehost. If you'd scroll down, you'd find four plans over here. And depending upon the country from where you are, your extension changes like I live in India, so my extension has changed from .com to .in. All right, and over here in India, we have got two server locations. One is USA and the other is India. Over here, you can see the United States data center is selected. I want to use India, India data center, and that is why I have selected that. So as you can see, we have four plans over here. And the basic plan starts from as low as 179. So it is very affordable. And in the basic plan, you can host only one website. But in the remaining plans, you can host unlimited number of websites on Bluehost. So let's just say I have this website of mine, mohammedzaman.com. I will show you how to install WordPress. It is not installed yet. And I will also show you how easy it is to install WordPress on Bluehost. So let's just say I'm hosting this website on Bluehost. This is actually hosted on Bluehost. And like this, I can host unlimited number of websites on Bluehost. Okay, in these plans. Next, we see that we get SSD storage. So unlike HDD storage, SSD storage is much faster. It is like 10 to 15 times faster than HDD storage. Many of the hosting providers use HDD space, but Bluehost use SSD space. It gives 50 GB of SSD storage in the basic plan itself, and it gives unmetered SSD storage in rest of the plans. But first, let us discuss how much of storage we need actually. So if you'd come to my website, mohammedzaman.com, this entire website, you'd see that we have all these content over here. If you'd go to tutorials, we have the rest of the contents over here as well. And we have the content in contact us page as well. So you can imagine how much 50 GB is, even if you choose the basic plan. All right, so you'll not face any shortage for storage. Next, we have bandwidth. Over here, we are getting unmetered bandwidth even in the basic plan itself. So bandwidth, let me tell you what exactly bandwidth is. It is the number of visitors the traffic your website can handle. There are a few hosting providers which will not be able to tolerate a lot of traffic, but Bluehost will be able to tolerate it easily. And then we are getting domain for one year. In the basic plan itself, you're getting one year domain for free. So whatever plan you choose, you do not have to buy a domain from elsewhere. All right, you're getting a domain from here itself. And like I said, it works very well with WordPress. So we are getting WordPress website builder over here. And, and if you scroll down, I don't think this needs to be explained. Okay, SSL certificate. SSL certificate is very important these days. Even on this website, you'd find that there is a lock over here. If you click on this lock, it says connection is secured. Not having SSL certificate on your website, makes your visitors data vulnerable to attacks. So it is especially for those websites who want to accept payment. So all the credit card number and all the CVV data that you enter into your website is vulnerable to attack if you do not have an SSL certificate. And Bluehost will install SSL certificate on all the domains that you keep over here. Next, we have automatic daily malware scan. All right. And then we have speed boosting CDN and they are providing it for free. That's a very big thing. CDN actually stands for Content Delivery Network. What it basically means that it keeps a copy of your website on different servers, all right? Like we have over here, India selected over here as a server location. It will keep a copy of your website in USA as well. So what will happen if a customer or a visitor wants to visit your website, mohammedzaman.com from USA, the visitor can access your website from their own data center itself. And by doing so, your website speed will increase. And if someone is trying to hack into your website, they will think that your website is located in the US server. So they will try to hack, but they will get nothing because the actual website is stored in Indian server. 
all right so cdn not only boosts the speed of your website but it also secures it and if you scroll down further you'll find that we have email marketing tools available in bluehost then we have wordpress website migration so if you have a website hosted elsewhere you can ask bluehost to migrate it into their server over here you do not have to do anything at all and that is free of cost now we have bluehost seo tools and their seo tools is just awesome it will help you rank better on google search results and you will also get microsoft office email for 30 days free this is just a trial free domain privacy what free domain privacy is is that whenever you buy a hosting you get exposed to the internet and you will get a lot of spam emails by this and by that you'll not get that if you'll buy a domain privacy but over here it is free of cost and in the end and this is very important you get free daily website backup what this actually means is see guys whenever we design a website things may go south so it does happen sometimes that our website crashes few of the plugins do not work and that is why our entire website goes down what free daily backup will do is it will restore the website from the previous day so you'll get back all your work so in my opinion if you're new to websites and if you're new to wordpress i would highly recommend you to go for this one because these two plans cost the same and we have additional two services which are really very important all right so let us select this plan and let us find out how we can install wordpress on bluehost the next thing that it will ask you is to make your free domain over here so you can enter a new domain over here so let's just say i'm adding mohammed zaman business.com all right if you already have a domain name you can enter that domain name over here and click on next but let's just say i want to add a new domain so i'm going to enter this one i don't think this would be available so let me click on next it says the domain name is available make sure that your domain name is unique I had already checked that it is unique so that is why I had entered that the next thing that I'm going to do over here is first of all I'm going to enter my name so I'll enter my name and my business name and then my country and then my street address so I live in BP Road all right and my city Mumbai and the state I live in Maharashtra so I'm going to enter Maharashtra over here and my pin code and my phone number and my email address all right so let us scroll down further and over here we have package information and for the plan account we have got three plans over here 12 24 and 36 I would recommend you to go for 12 month first now let's scroll down further and I do not want website security so my total amount is 6499 rupees and then again I can enter my details and then my CVV number scroll down further click on I have read the terms and agreements over here and click on submit and once you have completed the payment you'll go to the Bluehost website itself and click on login and over here we have to enter the domain name or the email address with which we have registered the hosting and then the password you'll receive this password in your email itself all right so i'm going to enter my password and click on login all right guys congratulations you are into the bluehost dashboard and like i mentioned before it is super easy to install wordpress if you're using bluehost all you have to do is click on this button create a wordpress website and over here i'm going to write the name of my website i want to name it mohammed zaman and I want the site title to be the web designer all right something like this and click on next I do not want these plugins to be installed over there so I'm simply going to uncheck this scroll down and click on next again so that was two clicks and congratulations your WordPress has been installed on your domain name all right so to log in you simply have to click over here log into WordPress which will take you directly to your WordPress dashboard and we are already logged in in our WordPress website. You just have to click on dashboard and you'll be redirected to your dashboard. I do not want all these things over here. So I'm simply going to dismiss it. And there's one more very important thing which I want you all to check. Just make sure that the SSL certificate is installed. And over here it says connection is secured. All right, if you do not get this, you come to Bluehost again and you go to my site and click on manage site. Go to security 
and make sure let's encrypt is on all right so that is all which you have to make sure and with this we'll end this video so all the best and god bless you all